Further up the line, units of the 7th Royal North Lancashire and 9th Cheshire's were committed here where the mines of Pitty Bois and Hollandshire Farm had wrought havoc among the defenders. I can see them now, rising from the twisted network of branches and bursting forth from fresh green leaves, 20 or 30 faces grey with fear and great staring eyes from which the light of reason seemed to have been driven. And they appeared before us with a forest of upthrown hands. Some cried out and gesticulated. Some threw themselves down and groveled at our feet. It was a terrible and unnerving sight. The biggest mine to be exploded on the day was here under the village of saint eloi at the extreme northern end of the line. Once again the mine and the artillery had done their job. The German resistance was negligible and the objectives quickly achieved. All along the line, the Allied forces had met with success and a minimum of casualties. Twelve hours after the start of the attack, the advancing troops had taken all of their main objectives, a virtually unheard of event given the usually turgid nature of fighting on the Western Front. It had been an outstanding success for General Plumer and his staff. The Battle of Messines was the first great set-piece victory for the Allies.